I've been promising Skelly I would make this video for quite a while now. Probably, probably a good six or so months. So, let's get to it. Late last year, Oro, who you may know as Dallas Strauss over on GitLab, made this issue on the Bottles project. Take down unofficial outdated packages, which was originally suggestion. Request a takedown for unofficial outdated packages. Since then, it's gotten a bit more strongly worded. This was all shut down after a giant discussion, Skelly giving a final piece, and then locking the thread, and then going from there into ranting over on Mastodon. I'm genuinely getting tired of dealing with shitty packaging jobs from Fedora. Their solutions are effing useless. It's more work for us, regardless of how much it benefits them. Out of all the packaging methods out there, we've had the worst experience with Fedora. Even Manjaro users had a better experience with the Bottles AUR, and that says a lot. But how do we get from requesting a package takedown to that? Well, there's a lot in between. But why would the Bottles project be requesting a package takedown anyway? Well, I'm making this issue as I've noticed that Fedora currently has Bottles in their repo, and it's outdated. The latest bill provided is from July. This issue was from December. I believe that it will be useful for Bottles to notify and ask distributions that are still shipping Bottles to potentially take down their packages in the event they're not maintained anymore, or to mark them as unofficial in some other way. Now you might be thinking, isn't this just what we do on Linux? Distros choose to package a program, they choose which version to be packaging, hopefully it's an up-to-date version, but if they don't want to, like say, Ubuntu, or Fedora in this case, that's okay, that's just what we do. Yes, that is what we do, but most of the people involved in the Bottles project are fans of two things, upstream packaging and flat packs, and really don't like receiving bug reports for outdated, unsupported versions of the software. And as the creator of Bottles puts it, unfortunately, there's not much we can do here. And for us, it's just image damage, as that version is full of bugs. By doing away with these downstream distro packages, the developer knows exactly the environment the software is going to run in. If you have a flat pack of version 1, version 1.1, version 1.2, you know exactly the dependencies that are going to be shipped alongside that flat pack. If that is version 1.1, for example, as a downstream distro package, you don't know the dependency versions that are going to be on the distro the user is running. This means that things might break that are completely outside of your control and are entirely just a problem with the distro. Or the distro might be shipping an outdated version of the software and you've already fixed the problem. So Skelly mentioned the Fedora Bottles maintainers can be contacted via email, and that is exactly what Oro did. So, now we wait. And eventually, someone did show up. Someone by the name of Penguin P. And at least initially, they seemed fairly receptive. But they weren't the only maintainer, they were also co-maintainers. So they went and opened a ticket about it. Retire Bottles from Fedora in favour of Flatpak. And at least amongst the maintainers, they seemed totally fine with it. So it was time to bring Bottles the good news. I, we, decided to retire Bottles in Fedora. I will initiate the process sometime this week. This means Fedora 38 will be the first release to no longer offer Bottles. Fedora 36 and 37 will go ear well in 6 and 12 months respectively. I'll see if we can add some notifications to the packages in Fedora 36 and 37 to let the users know that Bottles will no longer receive updates and they should switch to the flat pack release. And that should have been the end of the story. Awesome. One package down, let's deal with the others. Let's see about the AUR. Ubuntu if any package exists. What about Void Linux? NixOS? Well, NixOS probably wouldn't have the dependency issues. In my opinion, Bottles could work with the NixOS package to make it official. And what about Gentoo? And as Skelly puts it, there's no problem with NixOS, as they don't use an inferior package manager, which I'm sure the NixOS users love to hear. As for Void, that should be fine as the users are generally experienced as well, same with Gentoo. Now, the AUI in the context of just Arch Linux is okay, but then there's Manjaro, which makes the AUR really discoverable, which can be a huge problem as Manjaro users are often not experienced with Linux. And Ubuntu doesn't have a package. 
while still still prefer you using the flat pack, at least on Void and Gen 2, you're not going to be getting issues from people that don't have any understanding of how packaging works. Like, they're going to understand that their dependencies might be a bit weird, and at least they're going to have an up-to-date version of the package. So, the main issue is the lack of control over packages and dependencies. We need to use an unreleased version of Libidwaiter to use the newer widgets, as the ones on stable weren't enough for our need. We later stopped supporting the AUR because it does not give us enough control over dependencies. The only workaround was to use Libidwaiter git from the AUR, which is extremely stupid to use bleeding edge libraries on host. Newcomers are often inexperienced with the FOSS model, as they don't know how and where to report bugs. Frankly, I wouldn't be surprised if they aren't even aware of it. Not having any reports does not necessarily mean people running such package aren't running into issues, so we'll have to take that into account too. At least with Flatpak, we thoroughly test to provide the most stable experience. Now, whilst this discussion was going on, everybody was happy, there was also a discussion happening over on the Fedora mailing list, because apparently if a package is going to be removed, then they need to go and ask the mailing list what they feel about it. It's not just a matter of how the maintainers feel. As you can see, the thread is quite long. And it went kind of badly. Penguin P is back. There has been some development regarding this request, the request for removal of the package. As per Fedora packaging guidelines, I announced the intention to retire the package in Fedora 38 on the Devel mailing list. The response has made us reevaluate our decision and we decided to give it another go. The plan is now to have bottles updated to the latest release to ship with Fedora 38. For that, we need to have a package called Python or JSON packaged for Fedora. That's currently being worked on by the Rust SIG. Should we not make enough progress despite the interest in keeping bottles in the Fedora repos, then I will orphan it before Fedora 39 gets branched. Orphaning means other maintainers can adopt the package. That's mostly a procedural slash administrative difference to retirement, since packages can also be unretired. Let me know if you have any questions. Well, the question is... Why? The Bottles developers were not very happy about this announcement. Thanks for announcing Fedora's intent to give packaging another shot. But I'm going to have to strongly suggest against it, mainly due to many of the issues that have been encountered with native packaging outside of updates not being in sync, dependency hell is a large one, and bottle support capabilities and decisions. Please send my comments to the mailing list, as I don't like interacting with mailing lists in general. And the creator had a very similar response. Hi Penguin P, thank you for your update, however, after considering the matter, I would suggest against updating bottles to the latest version and including it in Fedora 38. If you've never spoken to Mirko Bromben, he is a very nice person, and at this stage, you can see that, like, he's accepting that this is the response, he's not happy about it, but he's going to have this civil back and forth. So to make this easy to follow, I'm going to read a section of Mirko's section and then read the response from Penguin P going back and forth. Using Flatpak gives us more freedom because we don't have to worry about other package formats and can add or change dependencies at any time to support new features, providing a better user experience or address any issues that arise. However, this could increase the workload for both of us since we'd need to stay in touch to communicate these changes and would have to act accordingly. Additionally, some dependencies may be custom made for bottles, as was the case with FVS, which means that you would also have to package and maintain those dependencies. I wouldn't want this to become a nightmare for you to maintain or damage our project's image, despite all your good intentions. Here is Penguin P's response. What you describe is essentially the daily bread and butter of any packager. Not only in Fedora, and in a broader sense the nature of open source software trickling down into Linux distributions. Yes, it can be a lot of work and requires some dedication. For fast paced large projects it makes sense to have more than one package maintainer so we can distribute the load. I'm currently following the project so that I'm aware of issues and new releases in addition to the tooling that is in place to inform other packages of new releases. Most, if not all, of the packages that I maintain in Fedora do not follow a release schedule. New releases will be made when issues need fixing or new features are ready to be rolled out. Back to Mirko. 
there is another problem that we should consider. Wine can be a hole in the system security, exposing the user's data. Running bottles as a flat pack prevents some of the risks. We are developing an in-app sandbox based on BRAP, but that will take some time and is still experimental. And back to Penguin P. That sounds great. Users discover bottles in different ways, and the flat pack package is still available to them should they prefer that. Others do prefer native RPM packages over Flatpak for different reasons, one of them being an issue of trust. Fedora RPM packages are built in a well-defined environment according to packaging guidelines that users trust. Flatpak, on the other hand, provides binaries that may have extended access to the user system. The user has to trust the provider of the Flatpak package. Running Flatpaks in a sandbox should be the default, but from what I learned, we are not there yet. Now that is slightly disingenuous because Fedora also just provides binaries to the user. It's just that Fedora's environment is a well-established and well-trusted environment, whereas the flat pack, you know, different developers are going to build it in different ways. So his suggestion is, should you receive bug reports from Fedora users for the current or future releases, you could either send them to Bugzilla, where package maintainers will be notified and can trial the bug, e.g. trying to reproduce it using the flat pack version, or put a label on the issue, e.g. Fedora, so package maintainers can look into it, saving upstream some time. Now, while both parties completely disagree with each other and zero progress was made, it was still a fairly friendly and cordial discussion. Nobody yet is being, you know, abrasive. Then Skelly decided, hey, I'm sorry for coming off as abrasive, but I've genuinely lost my patience over the whole situation. And now is where we start the fun. Most of the bug reports here, Discord, etc., we got from users of the Fedora package were due to Fedora packaging dependency issues. One of my friends trashed bottles when they tried the RPM, but absolutely adored it once I asked them to try the flat pack. The RPM also prevented a YouTuber from making a video about bottles, that being the Linux cast. Bottles requires a consistent and predictable environment, which is not something that most traditional packaging systems such as RPM provide. No matter the distro, Flatpak provides identical environments, which is something we absolutely need to troubleshoot bugs, especially with wine. Wine is very touchy. There are a lot of individual versions of wine. Every distro decides to package it differently. It isn't helpful to tell us to work with downstream. All of us have other projects to work on and are generally busy, so putting in the effort to assist with downstream packaging isn't feasible. Multiply that with the amount of package formats and distros out there, it only gets exponentially more repetitive for us, but not for you. The issue of the past is not an issue of the past. It's an issue that left us a bad taste over maintenance at Dora, to put it nicely. In the end, Bottles is FOSS and you are legally allowed to redistribute our software however you see fit. We've already listed various technical and personal reasons of why this method of packaging isn't fit for an application like Bottles. It seems to me that it's a disservice to upstream and your own users to continue to package a complex app only to have it continuously break and waste our time. An apology does not suffice when you repeatedly make the same mistakes without learning anything from it. Once again, I apologize for coming out as abrasive. I sincerely appreciate you put in the time to participate in this thread and even initiated retiring the package, but it doesn't and cannot fix the fundamental issues. And the conversation finally came to a close about three weeks ago with Mirko Bromben giving an uncomfortable tone. You know things have gotten bad when you even break Mirko. I believe this discussion is coming to its conclusion. At Bottles, we do not wish to support these third-party packages, nor do we want to be implicated if there are issues caused by these packages. Bottles is an open source project, and I'm aware that it is in the spirit of open source to redistribute applications. However, this should happen outside the project's name, without causing issues to the project itself and taking responsibility for one's actions. This means giving users of that package the ability to submit bug reports on a platform dedicated to that package and managing bug resolution independently, only involving bottles when it's not a packaging-related bug. 
I have decided to take more proactive measures that may address the problem at its root. In the coming weeks, we will modify bottles to alert the user if it has been provided through unofficial means, displaying an alert in the user interface. Support links will be disabled, and the software version will be obscured unless the maintainer includes a file with all the necessary parameters, such as the package version and support link, along with the package. These parameters will be discussed in the coming weeks, and we will provide documentation on the matter. Bottles offers an integrated health check which verifies the presence of critical dependencies. This will continue to function but will expand its search scope to ensure these dependencies meet the minimum required version displaying an alert otherwise. And with Penguin P's final comment, most of it is just completely ignored, like we're just not having this discussion anymore. I think it's clear by now that I do not agree with the direction Bottles is moving towards, but Hey, it's your baby, you can do whatever you please. However, the above sounds like to me that you're one step short of moving to a restrictive, non-FOSS license. But seeing that most of you are involved in open source in some way or another, I'm sure you're aware that doing so would close the doors for your audience. Now, we completely break Mirko, but he's still nice about it. I cannot teach you to interpret my words as I intend them, but I believe it is obvious that you are misconstruing them. There is not much else to discuss, let me summarise. You can continue to offer the package, but soon Bottles will notify the user that this is not the official method, and it will do so clearly in the graphical interface perhaps on the about screen. Version and support links will also be hidden and will need to be redefined by the package maintainer, so they will only exist if you define them with your details. For example, I can see a version 56-5, where 5 is the hypothetical internal version or patch by you. If you think my tone is arrogant or that I want to go in a proprietary direction, you are mistaken and misinterpreting my words. I think this is a great compromise for everyone. Follow the rules and we'll all be happy. If you don't follow them, you must take responsibility, which includes maintaining the repositories yourself and paying for their maintenance. Look, this might not be in the spirit of open source or the spirit of the way we typically package software on Linux, but... I don't care, I'm fully in support of upstream packaging, and if a certain project does not want downstream packages to exist, I think they have the right to tell you that, and tell you to go away, and stop doing it, and they're not going to deal with a single one of your issues. Now, whilst it seemed like the Fedora Bottles Packager just didn't care, and was going to go about packaging it even though the developers don't want it to be packaged, it seems like there is some hope for Bottles. It looks like it might become more difficult or cumbersome to maintain bottles for Fedora in the future, linking to Mirko's comment. Also having learned that a couple of upstream developers are also active in the Fedora community has sort of smashed my hopes of changing minds with regards to distro packaging. I'm pondering my options. To not make this a hasty decision, I will wait and see how things develop. But I was tempted to retire bottles before Fedora 39 after reading such comments by people who say they embrace open source. I think Fedora 40 would be a good decision point. You can say this as like a sort of half insult sort of thing, but everybody involved in this project are hyperactive in the open source space. All of them are fully in support of it. What they're not in support of is a project they work on being terribly packaged, leading to issue reports for things that aren't real issues. So where do you stand? Do you think upstream packaging is a good thing? Do you think downstream packaging has a value? Do you think there is sort of like a mix and match here and in some places there is valuable downstream packaging? Or where do you stand? I would love to know. Let me know in the comment section down below and if you like the video go like the video and if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon subscribes that are very paid linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and... Stop packaging. Just delete it.